All right guys, welcome back to another episode of How to Build a Van. Today, in today's edition, we are gonna use fire and lead. So we have holes that are in the floor of the Sprinter van here. I guess these are original from the, the factory. These were obviously um, bolts that we have bolts for, but these are just holes, uh, if you can see the gravel, like they could just go all the way down through. So what we are going to do is we are going to use our friend Benzomatic and we're gonna put some tinning butter on the exposed metal. We ground it down with a drill. We've got these sticks of lead and we're gonna heat it and basically plug the hole. If you've ever had to do this to your Sprinter van, please leave us a comment in the description down below with what we're doing wrong or what you would have done better. But uh, with all the research that we've done online, this is the best way to plug these holes. So here we go. And then it's supposed to like burn off and then look like, is that it? Oh, it's on fire. Yeah. <sighs> ah. That's good, that's good. Oh, you moved it and it opened it up. Okay, well, I mean, I think it's already hardened. Oh, shucks, look at that. So first application, the lead started to drip through the hole and some of these holes we didn't, we don't know what's underneath. So we didn't want to like burn a hole in the gas tank or the spare tire. So we're plan Bing it and we're using these, these little metal discs. And these, and we'll link this in Amazon down below, but it came in like a package with these different sizes and the step bit. This is from um, Eastwood Sheet Metal Plug Kit. This is where we got uh, the lead and the tinning butter and all the stuff from them. So we're putting the lead in these types of holes that go all the way through, but these, the bolts were, um, we just took the bolts out. So what we'll do is put the bolts back in and put some silicone around it and just tighten them down real tight and maybe some Loctite so they don't come out. And we'll just leave those because if we ever got rid of the van and somebody wanted to use those holes, we don't want to have like leaded them over. So I think that's the best approach. So we got screws for these. We put lead in those. And so we've got like six holes that are left. So I went to Lowe's and I got Hillman M8 1.25 by 25. So far, yep, that looks good. We got some Loctite, some thread locker. <clears throat> and then we're gonna seal them all with this clear silicone adhesive so that they are watertight from the inside out, the outside in. They are removable if anybody ever decides that they need to use the screw holes for something. We're not putting something that's permanent in there that you know it can at least be removed. So cut to that. Ooh. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use, but that looks like a lot, so. Mm. Well, 
wait, what if I gotta cut the tip off of everything? Good grief. God. Yeah, bam. Ah, there we go. There's a hole. Jesus. This smells like vinegar. What the hell? I think the better application is maybe a little silicone around it and then silicone over it. Wonder how that would work. Because that was messy AF. That is not at all how I expected that to go. Again, I don't know how much I'm supposed to use. I'm just covering all these old teetsy flies out here. Is that even a thing still, teetsy flies? Do y'all say that? That's what they are, little teetsy flies. Look at this, it's all, Aaron is gonna kill me. It's all over his tool. He is gonna fuss. Okay. Good night. All right. I am pretty certain it is not supposed to be this difficult to get this stuff out. So I'm going to make the hole bigger. That's the solution to everything, right? Make the hole bigger. Oh, yes. Much more flow. Let me get that all up in there. You know, I should have got screws that have the end on them like this. I could use a screwdriver, but I had a hell of a time. Oh, man. Finding those at Lowe's as it was. So I'm happy to have screws, period. All right, she tight. All right, I guess let me seal her up. Full disclaimer, sometimes I feel like, I mean, I'm not an idiot. I know a lot of stuff. I'm very smart. I have a master's degree. I'm very smart. I know how to problem solve. I know how to analyze the situation, but a lot of times with this mechanical stuff, I feel like I am reinventing the wheel because I feel like there is an easier way to do these things. I just don't know what it is because this is not my field of expertise. And um, logically in my head, put the screw in the hole, put the stuff on the thread so they don't come out and put the goop around it so it don't leak. So in my head, that's how it works. Now, is there a tool or a process that may be more um, standard operating procedure? Maybe so, but I don't know what it is. But this works. This uh, satisfies the objective. And I'm going to do this one, two, four more times. 
Leave me a comment down below. Am I just like overcomplicating this or am I being, because it has been said that I am going to the extreme with sealing the water from getting inside of this van, but I am very cognizant of the damage that long-term water exposure can do. This is going on, this is the floor, right? So am I even recording? Okay, so like I need, something to drink so I mean this is the floor so once it's covered up it's covered up and you're not gonna get to this stuff unless you pull the floor up and I don't want to pull the floor up. and whoever we end up selling the van to if that's what we end up doing I want the process to be documented so that people see the little things that we did that you don't see because it's covered up but it's kind of like that thing Steve Jobs said um, when designing the inside of Apple products, it's the inside of it. Nobody's gonna know it's there. Um, it's like designing like a dresser. Well, who thinks about the back of the dresser? Who cares that's against the wall? But you know it's there, right? And so you know it's there and you wanna make sure that it's right um, so that you can sleep at night. And this is kind of how I feel. Like I don't wanna be in the mountains of Colorado what well, with all these bugs and you know there'd be water and rain and ice and stuff and be like oh god I hope there's no water getting inside the van you know because I know I put those bolts in with that Loctite and that goopy stuff and I know that it's good to go and that's how I approach things call it overkill OCD whatever but you know we're the ones making the payment and doggone it I gotta sleep at night so this is how we're doing it All right, so now we have had a bath and a shower and we're clean and we have on clean clothes. We're gonna go in here to La Caretta and get some dinner. Leave us a comment down below. How did you fill the holes that you had in the bottom of your van? We'd love to know what other options we could have done. So as always, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and hit the bell to get notified when we post new content.